Hi students, welcome to physics class. In this class, we shall see the electric cells. Question starting from twenty third question. Okay. Here in this twenty third question, the PD across terminals of a cell. is found to be 29 volt and 28 volt respectively when it delivers a current of 1 ampere and 2 ampere respectively the emf and internal resistance of the cell are respectively is asking so he is asking the emf and internal resistance is asking both the things he is asking but we already know the relation between emf and voltage that is e is equal to v plus i r Here I is the current, R is the internal resistance, V is the potential difference, E is the EMF. But here, uh, for the same cell, two potential differences are developed. That is, V one is developed and V two is developed. V one is twenty nine volts, and V two is twenty eight volts. Like this, two voltages are developed. So and currents are also developed like this. I one is one ampere, and I two is two ampere. Like this, different voltages and different currents are developed. So we have to write this equation for this voltage and current, and this voltage and current also. Okay. So we shall write like this. EMF will be same. EMF is constant. EMF will be. constant no change in the emf of the cell it remains constant okay so now we shall write e is equal to v1 plus i1 r and r is also constant there is no change in the r value r is constant and e is constant right and e is equal to v1 plus i1 r Next, uh, E is equal to V two plus I two R, also exist. Now this equation number one, this equation number two, uh, we shall do the subtraction of these equations. That is, you do one minus two, just to subtract. Then what you will get? Uh, e minus E is zero. Zero is equal to V one minus V two plus R into R is common in both the terms. I one minus I two, will get okay. Now you transform this one to this side. Here minus becomes plus, plus becomes minus. So V two minus V one is equal to R into I one minus I two. Now substitute the values of V one V two, I one I two. These two values we have got right. Substitute these values. Substitute these values in this equation. So what you will get here? We shall write twenty-eight minus twenty-nine is equal to R into one minus two. This is minus one is equal to R into minus one. So minus one minus one get cancelled. So what you will get? R is equal to one ohm. We got R value. Substitute here. In any equation, you substitute R value. In this equation or in this equation, you substitute R value. So what you will get? What you will get here? E is equal to uh, V1 29 plus I1. I1 is 1. 1 into R is 1. This is equal to 30 volts. This is equal to 30 volts. This is our answer. Okay. So like this, we can find out this value. This is the twenty-third question we got. Okay, next step. Twenty-fourth question. What is saying? After the external resistance of a circuit has been increased five times, the voltage across the battery terminals increased from ten volts to thirty volts. The EMF of the battery is. He is asking, okay. Um, 
um, so here we are increasing the voltage by uh, here we are increasing the external resistance by five times we are increasing so 24th question he is asking emf is equal to how much if the external resistance is increased from r to 5r okay um, and uh, voltage also increased from v1 is equal to 10 volts to v2 is equal to 30 volts okay so voltage is increased external resistance is increased now we have to find uh, he is asking to find uh, the emf of the battery e is equal to how much we have to find so to find that one what we have to do uh, we know one formula that is v1 is equal to 10 volts means what we can write i into r1 that means r initial resistance is r so ir is equal to 10 volts and next what we can write uh, v2 v2 is giving means uh, uh, for V2 what we have to write I into 5R because resistance is increased from R to 5 ohm. So in this case this is 30 volts. Okay. Uh, now what we can write here is uh, in the place of I what we can insert is we know that formula from the formula we know I is equal to E by R plus R this we know right so now substitute this value over here in this case now what you will get I am writing like this E by R plus R into R is equal to 10 volts ok is it 10 volts uh, now here also we can write one thing what is that e by 5r plus r into r is equal to 30 volts okay like this now we should now we consider this equation as uh, first equation this equation as 1 and this equation as uh, 2 substitute now now what we have to do is uh, divide this equation 2 with uh, 1 divide the equation 2 with uh, 1 we shall divide ok what does this implies e by 5r plus r into r divided by e by r plus r into r is equal to 30 volts by 10 okay zero zero cancel r r cancel e e cancel now this gets reciprocated so what will get r plus small r by 5 r plus small r is equal to 3 by 1 cross multiplication so what you will get if you do cross multiplication what you will get r plus r is equal to 15 r plus 3 r ok hmm. here <coughs> Uh, here uh, here what we have done i into 5 r so i into what you have to get here 5 r you have to get here so if you divide this one what happen into 5 you should get right uh, now this uh, into 5 you have to multiply here right this 5 into r plus r get uh, reciprocated now so 5 into 5 into r plus r so you will get 5 into r plus r by 5 r plus r so 15 plus 3 r into 5 r uh, now what you will get 5 r plus 5 r is equal to 15 r plus 3 r 
okay uh, so you take this 5r to this side and bring this 3r to this side it becomes minus it becomes minus so 5r minus 3r is 2r 15r minus 5r is 10r okay uh, so now what you will get 2 1s are 2 5s are so small r is equal to 5 times capital r smaller is equal to 5 times capital r will get uh, so what he is asking here we got smaller value uh, now we shall find the uh, emf we shall find now substitute these values here now uh this is smaller value you substitute any of this following the first equation or second equation you substitute the smaller value so what you will get here if you substitute what you will get e by r plus 5r 6r right now substitute here see e upon r plus 5r into r is equal to 10 volts okay now r plus 5 r how much it will be e by 6 r into r is equal to 10 volts okay r r cancel uh, next to 6 you cross multiply this side uh, what you will get what you will get e is equal to 6 into 10 so e is equal to 60 volts this is our emf okay like this we have to solve the things right next question twenty fifth question while connecting cells twenty sixth question while connecting six cells in a battery in series so six cells he is connecting in series one two three four five six so whenever he is connecting this six cells in series what happened to the internal resistance the internal resistance will be in series only oh. in a series in a tape recorder by mistake one cell is connected with reverse polarity if the effective resistance of the load is 24 ohm internal resistance of each cell is 1 ohm so all internal resistances will be 1 ohm they are connected in series they are connected in series all are 1 ohm so One ohm, one ohm, like this. Okay, and load resistance is given. Load resistance, how much is given? It is six twenty-four uh, ohms. Twenty-four ohms is the load resistance, capital R. This is a small resistance. That is internal resistance, small R. Okay. Uh, now what we have to find is uh, what is the effective one ohm uh, the internal resistance of each cell is one ohm and emf 1.5 ohm the current delivered by the battery is uh, so what he is asking here is uh, the current developed by the battery is asking okay so how many cells are mistake connected by mistake one cell is connected reverse polarity okay so one cell is connected reverse polarity uh, remaining all connected connected correct only so one is in reverse polarity means this one becomes positive this one becomes negative here and again this one positive this one negative so we are what because of this one cell what happened how many cells are getting damaged here these are only effective resistances 
these two are not getting effective voltage from this one so two cells are getting damaged here right so two cells are not getting not effectively working remaining only working nicely so what happen now and the total internal resistance will be r1 plus r2 plus and so on plus r6 you have to add all so 6 ohms is the internal resistance no doubt about that and because the resistors are connected in series only the resistors won't have polarity plus or minus batteries only have polarity plus or minus so n minus 2 formula that is 6 minus 2 means total four cells are working effectively so 4 into e each cell emf is 1.5 volts given it is 1.5 volts each cell emf is 1.5 volts so now what we have to do is we have to find uh, current we have to find so our formula is e is equal to i into r plus r because we know the total external resistance total internal resistance and we have to find current only so what is the current flowing through the circuit he is asking okay what is the current flowing through the circuit is asking so 4e is equal to total emf is equal to total current into total external resistance plus total internal resistance uh, so what you will get 4 into 1.5 is equal to i into 24 plus 6 okay so 24 plus 6 is 30 30i is equal to 24 is 6 6 emf uh, next you cross multiply this one i is equal to 6 by 30 Six one zero six five zero. That is one by five. So one by five is equal to zero point two amps. This is our answer. Okay. Like this, we have to do to get the current. Right. This is the main formula. From this formula only, in the place of E, we have substituted four E. Because four cells are there here, effective cells are four. Two misplaced because of one misplaced, two are not working. Four are working, so that's why four E is equal to I into R plus R. Next, this is twenty-fifth uh, question. This is twenty-fifth uh, question. This is twenty-fifth question. Next, twenty-sixth question. You have twenty-sixth question. Uh, so, what he is asking in the twenty-sixth question? One diagram is given here. Circuital diagram. Here, twelve volts battery is there. Internal resistance of this battery is nothing but three uh, ohms. Is connected in. series with uh, internal resistance here r is equal to 2 ohms and 6 volts battery is here so what we have to find is a uh, potential different difference between 6 volt cell is uh right okay. here what is the potential difference between 12 volts and 6 volts we have to find so to find that one what we have to find is um we have to apply the kirchhoff's voltage law kvl kirchhoff's voltage law we have to apply now suppose uh, assume that the current is flowing uh, suppose we take the current is flowing in this direction suppose suppose the current is flowing in this direction like this okay so when current is flowing in this direction what happen um, here 12 volts you have to take positive 12 volts uh, when compared to here this is uh, positive terminal this is negative terminal in this the current will be flowing like this opposite to this one so that's why minus 6 volts okay and here it is minus of minus i into r Because potential drop is there, it is negative. But it is uh, in this the current flowing is opposite to this our external flow, assumed flow of current. So that's why we are taking minus of minus. This is for opposite direction of current. This is potential drop here. So that's why minus. 
next term uh, here what we get next term mm, here r is 2 ohms now. right so we get uh, minus of uh, this is 2 ohms right i into 2 2i and the next uh, what about this is 3 ohms mm, 3 ohms means uh, uh, what we get here is uh, this also we get minus of minus uh, i into 3 this is equal to 0 algebraic sum of all potential drops this one this one this one this one here these are many potential drops are there that all values will be equal to 0 ok next uh, next what we can write here is uh, 12 minus 6 plus i of 3 plus 2 is equal to 0 from this what we can write uh, 6 plus 5i is equal to 0 I want i value so i is equal to you take this one to this side minus 6 by 5 is equal to 5 1 ja, 5 2 ja, minus 1.2 amps i is i value we get minus 1.2 amps here we will get minus 1.2 amps i value ok i value we got uh, next what we have to find uh, we have to find uh, potential drop across uh, 6 volts battery we have to find so what we get here is uh, V is equal to uh, E minus IR this is our formula uh, here E is uh, 6 volts so V is equal to 6 minus <coughs> current we got minus 1.2 ohms and uh, your resistance is 2 ohms so total how much we will get is 6 plus uh, 2.4 so this is equal to 8.4 volts 8.2 8.4 volts this is our answer ok like this we have to do this is a 26th question ok using KVL law we have calculated this one next question Next question. <coughs> Next question is electric power. Next one is uh, electric power. Okay, talk about now electric power. So electric power means here twenty seventh question. It is twenty uh, seventh question. Three equal resistors are connected in series three equal resistors are connected in series across a source emf together dissipate 10 watts dissipate 10 watts if the same resistors are connected in parallel across the same emf the power dissipated will be <coughs> okay. Uh, so here, what he is asking is uh, power is given here. Power is ten watts. Ten watts power. Uh, you take this one as P one. So P two is equal to what we can write. P two is equal to uh, how much is asking. Uh, but we know that power is inversely proportional to resistance because uh, P is equal to V square by R we can write now. Uh, voltage is constant so it is inversely proportional to resistance ok so from this equation we can write like this uh, now uh, R1 you have to know so P1 by P2 must be equal to R2 by R1 uh, but we R1 when resistors are connected in series there are n number of resistors connected in series so R N R. If we connect if series if resistors are connected in series, we can add the resistors R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on n times we have to add. So 
that is nothing but uh, nr we can get if the if the resistors are connected in uh, if the resistors are connected in parallel then r2 is equal to r by n the resistors are connected in parallel that is uh, r2 is equal to r by n okay uh, now we uh, we want this formula you substitute these values over this in the formula so what we will get here uh, here how many resistors he has given n is equal to uh, here he has given in the question n is equal to 3 resistors n is equal to 3 resistors now substitute the values here what you will get 1 is 3r 1 is r by 3 now p1 how much given 10 10 by p2 is equal to uh, r by 3 divided by 3r okay uh, so by 1 nothing is there means by 1 r r cancel uh, you will get here 1 by 9 3 into 3 that is equal to 1 by 9 so you cross multiply this 9 to this side we get p2 is equal to 9 into 10 that is equal to 90 watts that is equal to 90 watts this to be cross multiply 9 to this set we get 9 into 10 that is equal to 90 watts okay so like this we have to solve this question and remaining questions we will see in the next class okay thank you